with everybody, and welcome back to the Toys Review Kingdom, the place where all toys prosper. And in today's episode, we will be reviewing a pretty incredible toy. Dun, da, da, dun. A Technic car. So uh, this item is actually a Legos item, and the item the item number it's uh, is forty two or seventy two. And as you can see here, it comes in this beautiful uh, rectangular, what is it called? Rectangular box, right? So this is the view from the front. This is the one from the side, like that. This is the one, the view from the back. And then this is the view from the other side. From the bottom, when you can see the UPC number and everything. This part right there. All right. And then we'll get back to the front. And as you can see here, uh, the toy is mostly made for children of ages uh, from 7 to 14. And it comes with 135 pieces to be assembled. But yeah, man. Something pretty cool that I will uh, like to get my hands on. So why not just do that right now? All right, you guys, you know, as always, while opening this box, you know, let me tell you a little something about this magnificent piece of art. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. <laughs> okay. Y'all know already how my scissors ready to go. <laughs> and then we try to open it so that if in case we need to return it, we won't have uh, you know too much of an issue with it. You can see right here. Okay. So this car is the perfect action toy to race against um, other stunts car and other vehicles. So most children will not only love playing with this toy, they'll also be engaged in creative play for hours and hours and hours, as well as uh, adults. It's also, well, it also comes equipped with uh, a powerful pullback motor, a sturdy front bumper, a large rear, uh, a large rear spoiler, wide black rims with low profile tires, and a toy engine that pops out on impact. So whenever like, your toy gets into a collision, the engine is more likely to pop out. The car can also be combined with uh, the Lego Technic 42073 Bash to create an awesome whacking bash combination that is perfect for a group play. Plus uh, each model of the car kit comes with a toy engine that will pop out so that means this one and the 40273 they both come with um, engines that pop out on contact so that's something that I'm pretty that I'm looking forward to but first let me try to get this thing open it off right there like that and then you pop it there and then right there. Oh, so there goes the first bag like I said it comes with like 150 something pieces so there's a lot of work to do to build a vehicle tires and a few body parts uh, 
big as the third bar, the third bag. You can see like some decorations and then other stuffs, stuffs, stuff. And then these two. And then what do you see here? We have a sticker. Nice. And it also comes with a booklet. You can see those are uh, pages from the booklet. And also instructions on how to build uh, the car. Pretty nice and interesting stuff. Right there. As well as the parts. Like uh, indications about the parts. Yeah man, cool stuff. Alright. Our box is empty. So now I'll try to fast forward it up until I'm done with building the car. See you in a bit. Two thousand years later. Alright you guys, so this is what the toy looks like once it's been built. You can see the flames right there, these two. You can see the four wheels, you can see the front, you can see the view from the side, and the other view from this side. So I actually lost the stickers to put on the doors, but yeah, this is what you know it looks like once it's been built right there. Pretty cool. Yep. Okay. And um so for me, uh this toy deserves a rate of five out of five because you know not only it's nice but it's also like you know uh Lego like their material is pretty well the ma <laughs> well Lego like the material is pretty sturdy. Alright. So why not uh, test it? You know, because it said it's supposed to be a pull. What is it called? It's supposed to be a pull back. So once I pull the car, and she it should go by itself, correct? Let's see here. Ooh, that's pretty good, man. One more time. Let's see if I pull it back all the way, like right here. I let it go. Nice, pretty good. And apparently, uh, the uh, motor it's supposed it's supposed to pop out um, in case of what is it in case of a crash or contact or something like that. So let's see here. Oh, Ooh. I think if I just pop this, then the motor should eject. <laughs> so let's see here. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Alright, one more time. One, two, three. Ooh. One, two, three. Ooh. Pretty stuck. Right, isn't it? Oh, hold on. One, two, three. Struggling like hell to make this thing pop. Day three. All right, so I believe if I just pop this, then the motor should come out. Let's see here. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't break it. Oh. All right. Well, this <laughs> is this try some other way. Pulling all the way, and then, ooh. Nope. One more, one more time, pulling all the way, and then releasing. <laughs> the motor came out, but you know, it didn't come out as I planned or as I thought it would. But at least it did come out, it did come out. So, they weren't lying. <laughs> all right. So let me put the motor back on it. Okay. Yeah, man. 
This is my car. My first Lego car. <laughs> All right, so that, ladies and gentlemen, marks the end of this video. If you haven't already, make sure to smash the like button, leave a comment to let us know what you think, share this video with a friend or family member, and most importantly, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay tuned. Thank you and have a good day. Bye!